Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this laser beam. So we are going to replace the earlier laser beam object we had with the Niagara beam effect. So the main reason to do that effect is because earlier we had a problem of uh, penetrating objects of the, by that beam. So even if there is an object in the middle, the laser beam penetrates that and go through it but now it doesn't happen anymore as you can see here it only it block it is blocked by objects so right and also just like before if i enter the re air region of the laser b it starts shooting me and when i did it keeps doing its usual work all right, so let's see how to do those things today. Right, so at the moment for this beam, what we're using is it's just a elongated cube with the red material. It's not exactly a particle or beam renderer. So, and the problem with this approach is, as you can see, here uh, let me change the beam targets to uh, to somewhere like this so you will see if I simulate you will see these beams are piercing through wait it when it detects the character it keeps shooting starts shooting okay now let's pay attention here as you can see here the beam is cutting through these walls it doesn't stop at the walls so that's the problem we have with this cube approach and also it doesn't look very good right so i'm gonna replace that beam with the niagara uh, niagara effect niagara beam Right, so let's create an Niagara effect for that. So I'm gonna go. In, I'm going to go my Niagara folder. Oh, it's Firefax. Okay, let's create a new folder for the turret. Put that turret also here, and let's create everything we need for the turret here. So here I am going to create. A Niagara system from selected emitters. Uh, here I'm gonna use a dynamic beam. Emitters to add select dynamic beam and press plus and finish. Let's call it laser beam and open it. Right now, as you can see here, we do have some beam effect but it's not continuous for a laser beam we need something continuous so so let's go to emitter update and instead of loop duration for what if i make it zero right now it's continuous see see it doesn't appear and disappear and also go to the color we can change it to red like this uh, and here if I instead of one if I make it like 20 you see it has this illuminating effect as well more like a uh, light so maybe 10 would be enough yeah that's too much 10 would be enough right also mm -hmm, being with at the moment for the width what we have is a curve so what if I make this a new local value being width let's set it to 5 right that's good enough mm -hmm. and under particle spawn the beam no under emitter update we have spawn count 100 but 
what happens if I use two? Right. One doesn't work, two is enough. Okay. And here beam end is 200. If I make it 2000, you see it becomes longer. But um, for us, what we need, uh, we need to rotate the beam. So we need to be able to change the end location of the beam through the code. So here, use this drop down and let's set this uh, dynamic input. Oh no, not a dynamic input. Link inputs make read from new user parameter. Right now we get this user uh, the parameters changed like this. So after we do that here we can see under user parameters be meant. So for demonstration purposes, I'll make it 200. Now that this is a user parameter, we can change this value through the blueprint when we use it in the turret, right? Now let me compile this and save and let's go to the turret. So I'm going to remove the visibility of this beam cube because I don't need it and anymore. And it is attached under circle 002. Okay. So let's add a Niagara system here. Let's call it laser B. And as the Niagara system, I'm going to select the laser beam, the one we have created right just now. And I'll set the attach parent socket as circle 00 because in our turret model, that's where the origin of these guns here. Okay, right now you can see. The laser beam is like this and if I now if I simulate it is working but the problem is still we have that uh, the laser beam is penetrating these walls we still have that problem so and also this is reverted right also, it seems this effect is in world space, uh, in local space. It needs to be in world space. So, in order to make it world space, what we have to do is we have to enable this absolute beam end. Otherwise, it will be in local space. Right. Now, if I simulate this, you will see the beam stays static. It doesn't rotate. Okay, right. And uh, now all we have to do is updating the end location of the beam to the appropriate appropriate location so that it will reflect the scanning of the turret. Right. Now let's create a function to determine the beam end in a, so that it wouldn't penetrate any of the walls. So at the moment, what happens is uh, the beam is following this follow target scene component. So here, this is when there is no enemy. So let's first make it work for the when there is no enemy situation. So here, let me add a new function. Let's call it update is B right here let's get the follow target get world 
location and also same as before we need to know the turret mesh circle 0 0 to socket location as well because that's where the line trace should start this is the end okay two line trace by channel let's use the camera channel this is the starting point and this is the end point so if we get a hit then that hit location should be the end point of the laser beam so get the laser beam set parameter set vector parameter and here we need to copy this name beam and no need to copy let's just type it and make sure to type user dot beam end and the location is this one right and if there is no hit then the laser beam end location should be same as this follow target location right now when let's call this function here right now to test this let me put few objects here and let's simulate see now this laser beam is uh, not penetrating any of the objects it just cut from there oh. uh, it's a physics object let me make it larger taller see okay all right that is working as intended but we have uh, another situation where when the turret is following an enemy it actually don't follow this follow target so here well what we actually we can do the same thing just like instead of directly setting the look at rotation like this what we can do is we can set the follow target even when there is an enemy so we can get the enemy target get that the location and also get follow target get uh, get world location then we can set the world location of the follow target as the enemy target but we have one small issue here we are we use this loop target for the regular scanning when there is no no enemy character so this can interfere with the function that I am implementing a moment ago setting the follow target world location okay so here what we can do is Mm -hmm. right let's have 
a separate parameter instead of the follow target yeah that should be better so here let let's forget about this follow target and let's add a new vector parameter beam target and let's use that instead here like this then what we can do is in the tick what is the tick yeah here instead of setting it like this what we can do is we can set beam target with this value but in order to prevent snapping let's do a linear interpolation Lerp. alpha let's try 0 0.05 Okay. right now if there is no enemy we can there is no enemy we can use so yeah here yeah, I deleted the rotation setting part as well yeah when there is no enemy we can still use this beam target lerp with this location follow target location with the point five and set beam target like this right and we can connect this output execution pane here so here i'm gonna change the way i calculate the find look at rotation here we have to do is we have to use now the beam target now everything should be fine shall we test oh it is working but there is a delay all right <laughs> i know the reason for the delay is this here we are using an R interp. So if I directly use this, this should be fine. Yeah. It is working. Okay, now let's play this. Play this and see how the beam works. Looks like we still have a problem. Oh no, actually we don't have a problem. Once the character is killed, it just continue. The usual is scanning. That's what happens. Right. Okay. So with that we can stop this episode so the laser beam is working and it doesn't penetrate any of the objects and we are getting hit as expected and now it did right so thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club See you in another episode. Goodbye.